welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing Outre Pascal in the color 1B. So here's how the unit looks straight out of the package. The only thing I've done to this wig was spray my even lace tint on the lace. And this wig does come as a side part frontal wig. This unit also comes pre-plugged, so you don't really have to do much to the hairline area. First things first, I like to cut the air tabs off on each side of the lace so that the wig can properly fit on my head. When installing, I like to cut my lace into three sections and work on each section separately, starting with that middle lace. I'm gonna go in with my even firm hold spray to lay this lace down. So I'm just blow drying the spray on a medium heat setting until the spray is tacky enough to lay my lace down. And when it comes to laying the lace down, I'm applying my hairline directly on top of where I applied the spray. I'm going in with the elastic band and blow dryer combo. The blow dryer is on the hottest heat setting and I like to do this because it really gives the lace more of a melted look and it really just helps to make sure that the lace is fully dry and secured. to cut the lace and when I cut my lace I like to go in with my scissors and cut in a zigzag motion and I do this because I feel like cutting this way gives the lace more of a natural look as opposed to just cutting the lace straight across. I'm going back in with my even firm hold spray and I'm just relaying the areas that did not fully glue down the first time. make the wig look a little bit more natural so I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses cream foundation in the color level 15 and I'm using this to blend the lace with my skin tone. When it comes to my baby hairs and a side part I usually like to go for a deep side part type of look so I'm just pulling the baby hairs out and then I'm going to go in with my tweezers and pluck the front of the baby hairs to make it look more natural.
with my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and a regular brush and I'm just going to go through the top of this wig with the blow dryer and the brush and this is really going to give your hair that nice flat foundation. baby hairs I'm using the got to be gel in the black tube to see how I actually want to style this wig so with certain curls you do have to be careful and you have to use a certain hair tool for certain curls so as you can see at first I used the wide tooth comb and now I'm going in with the vent brush I ended up slightly finger combing the rest of these curls because I didn't really like the way it looked after brushing it out it gave the hair more volume but I feel like after brushing it out, it just lost the curls. Like I couldn't figure out the curl pattern on it. Now I'm just playing in the hair a little bit and finger combing it until I'm satisfied with how the wig looks. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn to enhance this parting space. I'm using my comb to just go over the parting space so that it doesn't look too harsh. And lastly, I'm going in with my hot comb on the 380 setting, and I'm just gonna flatten the top of this wig to give it more of a neat install type of look. So here's the final look of this wig, and honestly, this has to be one of my favorite short hair units that I've had in a long time. I'm really loving the deep side part on this wig and I'm also loving the curls, but I also gotta give props to the lace because without this lace being HD and pre-plugged, the wig would be nothing. I 
I really do love the way this style turned out on me, but if you want to see two other styles with this wig, keep watching. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below, and stay tuned for my next video.